the shave of the day. I'm Mark McLean. Going to be using this awesome, <laughs> awesome, awesome blade from James Daniel Armand. Seven eighths. Look at that. Big old honking through the fire fine craft razor from James Armand. He does an excellent job. Look at the spine and how thick that is. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Uh, he did the spine per my request like that. Excellent job. Also, I ordered the barber's notch, which he took out, and I love it. I love it. It's perfect for, someone asked me yesterday, why do you have the barber's notch? What's, what's the purpose? Well, it's but like this. You're going to reach around underneath the nostril, and this piece of skin, it's like perfect. See? <laughs> That's what it's for in my opinion at least. May not be the original reason they made that. Who knows? The soap I'm using today is from Chiseled Face Trade Winds. I'm going to be trying some Trade Winds, which by the way, this is a uh, new scent for me to try. Uh, I had this given to me a while back and I have never had the opportunity to use it. I, uh, truthfully, I lost it in the shuffle. It got pushed to uh, the back of my soaps into my in my den area, into the corner, and then it fell. So after it fell down, one thing led to another and I didn't notice it was gone. So I finally found it and uh, I had planned on using this sample a long time ago, but uh, like I said, uh, something happened. Uh, this is currently blooming with a little bit of water. I just put a little bit of water on it. And it's it smells decent. It's uh, This is a tallow-based soap, by the way. And just like I thought, it's very slickery. <laughs> very slick soap. Even ready to come into a lather that quickly. Just off of the soap alone. Uh, this particular soap and water, of course. This particular soap is like a, I guess you would say, an, a marine scent or an aquatic scent. By the way, I'm going to be using this ebony brush from with Silvertip Badger. 100% there. Awesome. 100% awesome. And I love this brush. Dennis Coluccio made this just for me. Finest grade Silvertip Badger and one of my favorites. It really is. I've had it soaking so the bristles could uh, soften up somewhat in some hot water. I'll pour that water out now. I'm going to be using this bowl today as I refer to that as my Paul Revere bowl. Okay, now back to the scent as I was mentioning. I said it's like a, an aquatic scent. It has ocean and ozone and cucumber and a touch of mint. But uh, I'll be honest, I haven't been able to smell the, the mint, or at least as of yet. So, I mean, it may be there, but they say this is backed up with a base of Old Spice. Maybe this was part of the reason that I didn't uh, go ahead and uh, use this, because I am not that much, and I know this is going to be hard for some of you diehard, hardcore shavers to believe, but I am not a fan of Old Spice. And uh, it may have something to do with the fact that uh, oh, a guy that one of my exes cheated on me with wore Old Spice. You think? <laughs> well, maybe that's got something to do with it. But I've never been able to get over that scent since then. So they say this smells uh, with a base note of Old Spice. I can't sense it as of yet. Maybe it's there. But they say this is supposed to be the closest that you'll ever come to sailing a giant or a tall sailed type ship. Say like a, a schooner or something like that without ever leaving the comforts of your bathroom. All right, got some hot water going right now on my brush. I'm going to go ahead and just sit it upside down on a chunk that I've put in the bottom of my bowl. I'm just going to sit it right there with hot water in the brush and allow that to moisten the chunk. 
and in the meantime, I'm going to apply some pre-shave. This is from the farmer's daughter, Shopsop. Shopsop. <laughs> Rewind. Soap shop in downtown Paducah, Kentucky. It says beard oil. That's what they call it, beard oil. Kentucky bourbon is the scent. No, it doesn't smell like bourbon. It smells a lot like vanilla to me. But uh, this lady has become a nice friend of mine. Met her in downtown Paducah, here where I live. And I said, you know, that stuff right there would make a great pre-shave. She said, what's a pre-shave? After I explained it to her, she then said, you know, maybe I should put that on the label. <laughs> I think she should. She may have already done that. But it, it's a shame just to use this as beard oil, which I have used it just to soften my beard from time to time. I have used it for that. But it's a shame just to to uh, label it as such when you can get multi-uses out of it, right? Just like I did using it as a pre-shave. It comes with an eyedropper top in a blue cobalt bottle. If you want to check her out, online feel free to do so all right the hot water that was in my brush has sort of pooled into a bottom uh into the bottom and right there is the soap can you see that so that should be really soft i'm going to pour out this bloom water onto my palm and put a little of that on top it does smell nice chiseled face these guys do a great job I've uh, used some of their products in the past. This is the first time I've ever used this particular soap, Trade Winds. I watched a few reviews on it. Some people like it, some people love it. Never have seen anybody that hated it. And I don't think I'm going to be the first. This stuff seems to lather wonderfully that quick. I mean, I, I did pour out the water but I allowed some to remain inside my brush. And I think that's why you're seeing such a magnificent amount of lather. And the lather texture, I say, uh, would be like a marshmallowy, a velvety smooth type texture. That's what I'm getting right now. I can sense different just a combination of things right now but maybe when i put it on it'll uh, become more singularly noticeable it does smell good i'm going to go ahead wow big old lather <laughs> and this brush really slops the soap around too I think I have used up that entire piece. No, there it is right there. Almost lost it. <laughs> I'm thickening up this uh, lather on my face. It wasn't thick enough to suit me. I understand that this also has uh, like um, some products that are supposed to be good for the skin. Yeah, there we go. See that? Wow, the blind white spot. I hate the way these lights operate. There you go, maybe. Oh, dang. Okay, there. See it? That's a good texture. I like that. And it's going to increase and be a little bit thicker before I start shaving with it. But uh, I mentioned the fact that it has some notes that are supposed to be good for the skin or some ingredients, rather. It does have coconut oil, I know. I mentioned it was a tallow-based soap. Um, this particular one is, I believe, from beef tallow. So what is tallow? Uh, 
correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's like a fat from an animal. Cow. Bovine. <laughs> but it uh, does make a, a silky smooth lather. And speaking of silk, this stuff has some silk powder in it, I understand too, which that's making it extra nice. Mango, I forgot. Mango oil is in this, along with uh, avocado oil. And it's really lathered up nicely. I'm looking for the, the chunk, there it is on the side wall, just to show you guys that it hasn't used all that much. See on the back side of the wall? Now I'm not adding any more water to it. I'm just going to stir my brush on top of the chunk in my bowl because I want to get a little more of the soap loaded onto my brush to thicken this lather on my face. Right like that. That's what I'm talking about. Now the scent is not going to be one of those types of scents that you either love or hate. Nothing like that. It's just going to be one of those that you say, hmm, that's my opinion. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's good, but not, not great. You know, it's awesome. Don't get me wrong. But it's not one of those that you'll say, hey, I sure wish I could put this in a bottle and spray myself with it numerous times throughout the day. Maybe that's uh, some of the old spice reasoning. <laughs> I'm sorry if so. I don't think that's it. But it does have a tremendous lather. I'm talking tremendous. Look at that. That's just awesome. I would buy this soap for the latherability alone. I don't think I would buy it because of the scent, even though the scent is nothing obnoxious or over uh, overpowering it's nothing like that in fact uh, I don't think it's one of the scents that will hang with you all day long or anything like that but they say this is supposed to be the closest you can get to sailing a ship I do sense you know some of those aqua or aquatic notes they mentioned earlier like straight from the ocean it doesn't smell like a a fish or anything. I can see how you could, you know, paint a picture inside your mind's eye of sailing a ship and thinking about this awesome soap. But that's an excellent lather right there, folks. That's all I'm going to do right there. Anything else, we'll be playing with it. And you know, Mama always told you not to play with it. <laughs> oh man, look at me. I told you I was slinging some soap suds. NRA, boys and girls, support your local NRA. If you don't have one locally, support the one nearest you. I won't even start on my soapbox about supporting the NRA, but I do definitely support them. Here we go, through the fire, fine craft, James Armine, thank you. This is a wonderful razor, monkey's tail, <laughs> freshly stropped too, by the way. Okay, here we go. Got a little lather on my glasses. Wow, that is awesome. I can just feel it. Just going right through those hairs, those beard whiskers. I love this razor. Man, look at that. That just took it right off. And I actually got a little bit of my sideburns in with it. Here. Well, that's what you get, you know, when you're dealing with an extra sharp razor.
nice to have that barber's notch. Okay, I apologize. I had a, a phone interruption there. But uh, this side came perfect all the way into the uh, mustache area. I love this razor. Excellent. I had planned on getting a razor from James Armand a while back. Um, got sidetracked somehow. That's okay, I got one now. <laughs> Doing the opposite side. Got to be a little careful though because I don't want to trim off my sideburns like I almost did earlier. This stuff is a great lathering soap. The scent is good. I would give the lather ability um, probably an eight and a half to nine and a half. That's awesome, by the way. Scent. I would say that uh, it's poor, probably one of those acquired scents. You know? I like it. It's very decent. I would give it probably a seven and a half to an eight probably on the scent but just because it doesn't please my senses and my nose doesn't necessarily mean that it won't please yours so keep that in mind any of of my reviews if you want to call them reviews I don't necessarily call them reviews because when I get a soap and I'm going to talk about it I am already usually pre-approved because it's a soap that I liked and that's why I bought it. And the majority, I would say, I can't say all of my soaps uh, that I bought because I did have a couple given to me from friends, but any soap that I have bought, it's bought because I like the scent. You know what I mean? Putting some more lather back on for the second pass. When you use a very sharp razor, you know, two passes, and that's just about all you're going to be required of you. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to this bowl. It's starting to get a little dry. And this soap is the kind of soap that you could call it thirsty, but it's the kind of soap that it will lather as much as you want. If you want to get a large lather, you kick up the water notch just a bit, just a skosh, as they say. <laughs> you kick up the water a little bit and it will lather to your heart's content, I promise you. Look at that, right there, perfect lather. Great texture. And I'm just operating off a small sample so if you had the big container the tub or bowl whatever you want to call it just imagine that would be tremendous wouldn't it like it and i still have a huge chunk can you see this a huge chunk of soap right there that i'll be able to wash off rinse it and then reuse it I like that. All righty, here we go. Going to do the goatee area of my chin and then the neck area. Nice. I've got the window open today. Beautiful weather for a change. <laughs> I 
They always say if you don't like the weather here in Kentucky, stick around a day or two. It'll change, and that's about the truth. It's nothing to have a 30 degree day one day and the next day 70. Just doing a little trim up around the goatee. Now I'm going to draw a line underneath the beard area because it grows a little thicker there. Move over to the opposite side. Stretching the skin the entire time. For those of you that are new, that's one of the most important things you could do. Stretching the skin. Now I'm going to recoat. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. You know, I always say the worst weekend I ever had was excellent. <laughs> yeah, that's about the truth. And here we go. That was quick, huh? Very, very nice razor. Extra sharp, too. I asked James uh, Armand, when the razor arrives, I said, uh, will it be shave ready? He said, yes, but you may want to strop it. I mean, that's because everybody's different. He was right. I stropped it. And it's been fabulous. That's why I'm shaving with this one again. Because I recently shaved with it. I enjoyed it so much I had to do it again. <laughs> Alright, the upward pass now. Starting at the beard line. I love it. Seven eighths is the width of the blade on this one. Seven eighths. I've got a nine eighths coming in soon from my good buddy uh, Morgan, who is with Silver Loaf Custom Razors. Got me a custom coming up. Nine eighths in size. The big one, he calls them. Wow. <laughs> this thing is amazing. It is. No joke. All right. You know, I could just say that's it, but uh, I want to make sure that I don't have any spots I've missed underneath. I'm going to coat up the brush just a little bit more. Do the neck area. You know, surprisingly enough, this brush has a, a lot of good spine and backbone to it. It really does. Now that is a 24 millimeter silver tip badger. All right, we will do an upward pass. Just clean up, basically.
can't stress for the beginning shaver how important it is to stretch your skin. Not just with a straight razor either. When I first started with a straight, I honestly didn't know that. I mean, you know, yeah, yeah, you hear, you hear people say, stretch your skin, and uh, then you don't think about it. Man, that is perfect. I want to check behind this part here. There's just a little growth there coming up. Yeah. Not a growth, but a gro growth of hair whiskers, you know, right behind that. And if I, if I don't watch, then I'll grow a bunch behind there. See there, up there? Yeah. I'm going to have to swap hands here. And this left eye is my bad eye. I can't see out of it as well. But that's okay. I manage. Just had a new uh, eyewear test the other day. I was amazed to find out I can't see worth a dang. Uh, so I'm going to have to have new glasses. Only $700? That's why I don't have them today. <laughs> I'm just knocking off some of the, what I call wild hairs that just protrude a little bit. Do you guys do that? that is that wow right into the nice kevlar scales kevlar james armand said that since i like tactical knives he made the kevlar scales for me thank you buddy excellent razor couldn't be more pleased you are one fine artist ah. is all messed up. That's okay. Use the clean towel I flung up here earlier. So, for my post-shave today, I'm going to use something that's brand new and coming out soon. Blimey! Yeah, that's not my label. That's just a handwritten Captain Hunter's blimey label that I wrote by hand. I drew off a batch just to test it out and see how it was. Blimey is bay and lime. Bay rum and lime. It's the mutiny bay rum with extra notes of lime. And I just put this in a spray bottle for convenience for myself. And feels good. I do have a, a little cut right there, and it's stinging a little bit. Overall, the stinging of uh, this isn't quite as, uh, I don't think it's as 
as awesome as the mutiny is as far as not stinging goes mutiny really doesn't sting uh, this stings just a little bit nothing in comparison to what I've used on other brands but it's excellent I don't have to put on any post shave cream either because I mean you suit yourself with what you want to do but I personally feel like it's covered I mean it's soft as that as that made my skin feel well, that's because it has not only glycerin but it also has a lot of other good things aloe vera it has um, let's see um, witch hazel it has vitamin E oil um, it has neem oil and it has rose water as well so I think the the part about the post shave revitalizing your skin has been taken care of right now and I have reached it ho status yes indeed ho status thank you guys for watching I appreciate you being here again the soap today chiseled face and trade winds awesome awesome lathering soap smells nice too check it out Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Get out and get your shave on. Pat someone on the back when you get the chance, not the backside, okay? Peace.